Hey guys, we're back for some standard. I wanted to try some updates here to the mono red aggro deck, um, especially with some of the comments here from some of my viewers uh, looking at Pyrotechnic Performer. So uh, before we get into it, if this is the first time you're stopping by my channel, thank you so much for watching. And if you do like my content, please consider subscribing, maybe dropping a like or a comment or sharing it with a friend of yours who might also like it. And for my returning viewers, thank you guys so much for your support. It really does mean the world to me. So let's go ahead and jump in. So one of the changes here that I made to the uh, mono red aggro deck that I took through a standard event the other day um, was I wanted to add Pyrotechnic Performer. So this is one of the new cards here from uh, Murders at Karlov Manor, and it is super powerful. So basically how the card works, it's one of the disguised creatures. You can play it face up as a 3-2, or you can play it face down as a disguise creature, which is a 2-2 two -two with ward 2 for 3 mana. And then when you flip it up for 1 red, Pyrotechnic Performer or another creature you control, uh, when it's turned up, that creature deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. And so if you have multiples of these in play, um, you can do you know a lot of damage very quickly to the opponent. Since we also are using Fugitive Codebreaker, late game, this can kind of be used to help refill our hand through the disguise mechanic. So if we have like a pyrotechnic performer in play and then we uh, flip up a Codebreaker, we're also doing damage to the opponent, which is just a great uh, added bonus there. And then in addition, this all plays well with Mechanized Warfare, which increases the damage output of all of our sources of either red or artifact sources in the deck. So I wanted to still keep at least three copies of Warfare, um, and I could see going back up to four here. I'm just trying three because I also want to have a couple copies of Squee. And then I wanted to make sure that there were enough creatures here to help kind of incentivize a lot of pump, like Monstrous Rage, and then also two copies of Dreadmaw's Ire. One of the nice things about Dreadmaw's Ire, this is um, a card that came out a little while ago where when you cast it, it's an instant, and it gives plus two, plus two, and trample to an attacking creature. And when that creature deals combat damage to a player, also destroy target artifact that player controls. And I think this could be quite good against Boros Convoke, since they have those little clue tokens or blood tokens sitting around, and if you can get rid of their token before they can turn it into three one ones, that's pretty powerful. So I think it's a nice thing to sort of try out. I did shave two copies of the one damage to everything, and I'm still just keeping four copies here of End the Festivity since this also hits Planeswalkers, which is particularly useful in the blue-white control matchup. So I did take out the Phoenix Chicks um, because I needed to make room somehow for the extra pump and the new creatures here. So for our one drops, we have four Kumano Faces Kakazan, four Monastery Swift Spear, and four copies of Valdar and Epicure. And part of the reason that I went up to four Epicure is because not only does this help filter, um, you know, extra land and things like that in our deck, but it also helps um, do extra damage here via Mechanized Warfare. So if you have Mechanized Warfare in play, you play this, it does two damage to the opponent, and then when it attacks, it'll also do extra damage. So just kind of some extra little damage there. And then we still have four copies of Lightning Strike, four Fugitive Codebreakers, and four Pyrotechnic Performers. And then in the three drop slot, we've got three copies of Mechanized Warfare and two Squee Dubious Monarch. For the land, we have 21 lands, two copies of Sokinzen, and two copies of Mistress Foundry. I could see going up to maybe three Mistress Foundry, um, but because we have so much... Um, you know, just single red sources here on turn one, I wanted to have only a couple copies of this running around. So all that said, let's go ahead and jump into a couple games here on ladder. I'm trying to stay within range here of the top 250 if possible. And I think we're somewhere in the top 500 right now, so... Yeah, I'm excited to see what this deck can do. Okay, we are in the draw. We only have one land. 
and yeah, we don't have the benefit of play with fire to help kind of filter our draws, so I think we might need to mulligan this hand, which sucks, but yeah, I think it's probably right to try to get at least two lands. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Here I think we just throw back the Mistress Foundry. Yeah, this will be my first time playing with Pyrotechnic Performer, so I'm definitely hoping it does well. And I think we want to try to play this face down if we can. So let's just throw out a couple Epicures here. Unfortunately, we haven't really got a whole lot of removal in our hand right now, so I think we want to just drop Mechanized Warfare and start threatening. And then I think we we do leave a copy back here. Well, we could give them the free attack. Yeah, I don't think we sit back. I think we're just racing here. Okay, that's pretty rough. Oof. It's gonna be tough to race that. I think we might just be dead. Um, yuck. Yeah, Lightning, Helix, Lunark, Veteran, and Angel Fire Ignition is going to be tough to beat. And that's going to do it. Okay, so that was kind of a rough first game there. But uh, hopefully we can run it back. All right, this hand looks pretty good. We are still on the draw, which is unfortunate, but this hand could definitely have some legs here. And they've got Rot Priest. So this is definitely the Rot Priest combo deck, most likely. Yeah, and I think we're still racing.
So mechanized warfare. Although I think we actually just go performer here because then we can flip it up and go rage in a turn. And this also lets us block rat priests unless they've got something else going on. Okay, so now we just go, we need one red to flip this. So I think we rage it and then flip it. Question is, do we hold back with our swift spear? So this, this will flip up, it'll be a six power. So they're gonna get hit for 12 and then 14. They could kill us on the crackback. So I think we actually just swing with a face down. They have enough. Do they have a way to get through though? Okay, not quite. Oof. Yeah. Thankfully, leaving back the Swift Spear is the right move. Okay, nice. We've got end the festivities in case we come up against like Boros Convoke. We also have some other stuff to do here. I think having four of these main deck is just a really good move considering how much Boros Convoke is out there right now. They've got Picnic Ruiner on too. This is going to be tough. Could try to hold back and block but they probably have like giant growth plus something else i think we are actually just racing Definitely do want to block here, I think. Double on the festivities. Could just hold back with Squee. Might have to just like hold back everything here. Yeah, 
Yeah, because they probably have some kind of pump. I think we got to hold back. I guess if we block like this, will they have enough? If they go like giant growth, yeah, they're an eight seven, so they're pushing enough to just kill us. If they have plus two plus two, we go to one. But if they have like another like monstrous rage, there's enough things that just kill us that I think maybe we have to block the other way. Unfortunately, we just don't have enough to take out that swift spear. So right now they're just killing us, so we've got to go searching for blood with the blood token, I think. Um, swift spear doesn't do it. So what are we drawing to? We have to draw into like lightning strike. Yeah, so maybe lose a festivities. Although, I suppose we could also draw, like, one more festivities if we get rid of the Swift Spear. So that increases our outs. Yeah, didn't quite get there. Okay, this hand looks like could be pretty good. Again, we are on the draw. It's a little bit on the back foot, but I think this is going to be a good hand. got a nice opener here for uh, what I assume to be Boros and then I think we just um, lightning strike their warden just to slow him down a bit Okay, land is great. Um, I think here we just take the free squee hit. I guess they could have resolute reinforcements here. Actually, that, that's a decent possibility. Case is pretty nasty. Case feels like warfare, but like for one less mana. Surprise they didn't just attack with all three to get the case going. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Um, hmm. 
Could go like Kumano plus uh, Codebreaker, or could go like Face Down Performer. Or just get Warfare going. I think maybe Face Down Performer. Although they, that way they can still attack with three creatures. Yeah, maybe just Kakazan plus um, Codebreaker is the move here to try to race. And actually, we forgot this thing has prow prowess, so we should have played that the other way around. Missed a point of damage there, unfortunately. Um, yeah. And then I think we leave one back to take out their frontliner. Okay, and the festivities is pretty good. However, it doesn't, yeah, if we had warfare down first, but I'm not even sure if we live through another turn here if we wait too long. So what is the play? Um, yeah, I think actually we have to warfare, set up for festivities on two. We could shove with Codebreaker. If they push back, they're pushing one, two, three, six, eight. But we're not dead. Oh, yuck. Yeah, and that's lethal. Tough beats. Um, yeah, so today did not go well, but um, I think just gotta go back to the drawing board here. Maybe you need more AOE or I'm um, not entirely sure what to do, but yeah, if you've got thoughts, put them in the comments. Let's take a look at the stats here. Okay, so on ladders is pretty rough. One and three, so 25% win rate right now. Not doing great against Boros um, or Gruul, uh, Picnic Ruin or Get There combo. So yeah, I think I, I gotta go back to the drawing board here with the deck, try to make some changes. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching the journey. Not all of them are bangers, but um, anyways, thanks for being here. Appreciate you guys.